Hey guys, um, this is uh, I'm continuing the my first video. Um, it's been a while. I have not uh, done anything with this battery, but I did before I got this tool. Uh, this is the um, IMAX uh, B6 AC version two. I do have a non-version two, uh, but I'm using this one uh, now, and uh, it works. Uh, it works good. I will talk the cons and pros. Um, with this uh, this uh, this charging tool, uh, uh, but uh, here uh, I identified these uh, two batteries were very weak under seven vol uh, volt, and um, now I'm going uh, uh, one at a time. I just started, um, so I'm charging the battery uh, five minutes uh, with uh, the current uh, 2.5 amp. You don't want to do that uh, over uh, over uh, fast charging or 5 amp charging because uh, this is the two of them I got it from uh, from the eBay and I tested out they are very good uh, holding the uh, voltage pretty good uh, but you know what I noticed uh, before I was setting up this uh, uh, the battery charger and this charger I jumped it on and. Uh, uh, set it up in the five volt charging and I let it let it run and uh, this one goes like a 9.2 uh, volt and that uh, which is really high for these batter batteries and uh, those batteries got swollen a little bit and I noticed I said oh they sold me a bad battery but uh, the I do remember when I discharged that um, discharged the battery it took a uh, you know it was holding very well so then I charged the one of them here actually this one the bad one and uh, it start charging fast and I discharge just like a flat boom it dropped the voltage uh, immediately but uh, anyway um, if this one would have at the um, a setup um, uh, the how many volts you want to charge that would be great and uh, once when it reached the maximum point wherever you set it up if this one would beep that would be awesome that's what it's missing on this one but discharging you can set it up what uh, what voltage you want to discharge and it will stop and beep but uh, for some reason they forgot to do that uh, in the programming I guess so um, I'm doing the five minute charging in uh, uh, the current state whatever I have here is the seven point something um, I don't exactly remember, but uh, seven point something. But uh, um, in the from the seven point something, uh, seven point six or seven point seven, in five minutes it goes around eight point five to eight point five three volts. So then I do the discharge, and uh, here is the my results. So here uh, the my results. The first one I actually did not charge five minutes. I charged less. I went to up to 8.3 volts and uh, rest of them say um, when I go up to 8.5 in five minutes and uh, then I discharge five minutes I get the 7.8 7.7 so uh, this uh, the first one is the good one but I will recharge again but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna do and uh, 11th one it in five minutes it went like 8.9 very fast charging but a discharge like a 7.5 in two minutes so this one definitely tells me this is the weak battery so here uh, the fourth one I'm doing right now uh, so we got a 4.7 uh, that's 10 seconds remaining so 8.6 volts I'm gonna stop it <coughs> when it's uh, finished into five minutes so 8.7 so in 8.7 um, now I wanna it was charging right so I want to change that to discharge I'm gonna uh, discharge it. I have a 7.5. If it reaches the 7.5, it will kick off. I mean, it shuts off by itself. Uh, that's what I meant. Uh, uh. And uh, then uh, it's gonna be discharged. Uh, current will be two amps. So do that. Uh, the press and hold. It's gonna start discharging. So uh, it's gonna uh, start dropping. So if it reaches up to 7.85 or 
ideally I want to have a 7.5 uh, I don't want to go over uh, uh, under 7.5 so so far the batteries are doing very well um, so 7.8 is the average uh, let's see how this one's gonna turn around and uh, then I will continue I uh, I will finalize this video so we are almost five minutes here and this one is holding uh, much better than now so uh, five minutes is discharging 8.06 all right so that's um, that's good I'm gonna change it here um, what is it? 8.06 all right so uh, th this that's it that's all you need to do uh, you need to do one at a time this one can do like a three uh, or six cells at a time but we don't want to do that we want to it's going to take some time when you do this uh, one at a time because when you do six cells in a, uh, at a time you don't know which cells are really bad or good it's going to do the overall readings i do have a uh, the scanner the uh, uh, car scanner and uh, it shows you the battery testings and all this stuff and uh, it tests uh, one uh, bar tests the uh, uh, two cells at a time so 16.3 uh, or 4 something like that uh, so uh, basically um, but we don't know which battery uh, which cell is bad one so you have to do that this is the time consuming uh, you have to do that manually uh, each cell and uh, make sure you got to change the terminals when you do the charging just follow the uh, terminal uh, leads uh, wh whichever it shows you there and uh, do that reverse the uh, the wires whatever will be the next battery so otherwise it will prompt you anyway if the terminals are reversed and um, um, th that's about it that's what you need to do and uh, um, I, when I do that uh, go all of them um, I probably have to pull these two of them out and I do have this replacement and uh, uh, I, I think uh, that should work okay thank you guys watch for watching and uh, if you have any comments just uh, um, just drop it comment there and uh, if I will be uh, if I know what you're asking me I'm not a professional I'm like a just do-yourself guy and uh, um yeah that's uh, that's what i do, do right now so uh, i don't think it is a rocket science here i uh, just you know be careful whatever whenever you're dealing with a high voltage and uh, that's it use the gloves i'm not using the gloves but uh the, i'm telling you you to use the gloves for your safety so okay anyway take care guys